Hey guys, so this is probably going to be the last update type of progress video I'll do on this cosplay. It's pretty much finished. I didn't finish the bow. I won't be making a progress video on that. I'll just end up doing a video with me wearing my complete cosplay all together with the bow when that's finished. Don't know when that'll be finished. It could be finished this month or next month. We'll move to that. So I'll start with this choker that I made like extremely quick. This was the button that you already saw. This is all made out of fabric and then I put glitter fabric paint. It was actually puffy paint but I brushed it on um, the whole thing just so it could make it a little stiffer and shiny and of course glittery but I didn't want it to look so fabricy like so that's why I did that. So I finished this bow on the back. You saw it was just in pieces but it just basically got put together and there's wire in here and on the other side and then there's wire here and here to um, keep this up. Also on the back, I put eyelets in here um, so that the zipper doesn't bust and there's boning. So I did this because I knew I was going to be on my menstrual cycle during the con and when I was making this I made it to my size at the time but I was like I know I'm gonna blow it up sometimes I blow it up to 10 pounds so I was like I can't have this busting open like I just can't have it happening so that's that was the whole purpose of this it's my lovely arrow and like I told you before I just kind of hot glued everything together this is um, plastic cutting board from Dollar Tree this is foam plastic coloring board from Dollar Tree. You already know about the circle. And like I said, I just spray painted it a few times and then I went over it like twice or two, three times with like this, um, I don't know if you can see it, with glitter paint. I wanted to use like a more glittery, like I guess a bigger cut glitter on it and I'll probably go over it with that just so that it looks more perfect. I mean, I think it looks really good. It looks perfect in pictures. But back here, it's, I don't know, it's not as clean as I want it to look. And of course, I could fill this in with stuff and sand it and do all that. But I'm like, or I could just put a bunch of glitter on it and it'll look perfect. I put these buttons on these gloves just so that this wouldn't sag so much. I guess it still looks a little weird right here, but they just look better when, um, you know, just having this. So yeah, here is my lovely boot that I finished. I made the pattern for this bottom piece and then I contact cemented it on. And then you already saw this piece, contact cemented it on, super easy. Contact cemented this flower on. I was so nervous about it because it's such a big hunk of piece, but this stayed on so well. And then I finished this piece, this gem here that um, just pins on. The pin was higher on top and I was pinning it to here but that doesn't, wasn't working out because it was too bulky so then I pinned it to the skirt and that worked out but there was a problem here and we'll get to that in a minute. For my bow, here's the middle spike of the bow. Made out of foam covered with fabric. I did paint the edge of this so I wouldn't have to wrap foam or, like fabric around it because see this one has wrap, fabric wrapped around it um, some of these pieces but it ended up making it super bulky and so I just started just painting the edge of the foam these are supposed to be floating hearts and I'll show you how those how I was trying to make them float um, so I have these and I painted these did this in the hotel room <laughs> tried to quickly gradient like pink to orange to yellow. And I have a bunch of gems. You already saw these. Um, the glitter foam sheets. And then I painted it with like um, extreme glitter pink. I think it's like bubblegum pink extreme glitter. To try to get it to match this red with pink. Kind of matches. And then I went over it three times with triple thick. And then this backing here is just a piece of foam with gold fabric on it and then of course I painted the sides gold. So here is the bow. It's like folded in half. All this has to get taken off of here and this is going to get redone. Here's some of the spikes 
and you know this gym goes here so in the hotel room again i cut out these trim on the for the bows i covered them with fabric and they're double sided so that took forever <laughs> and then i made these little clear plastic pieces i don't know if you can see that it's supposed to be glued to here so then i can glue the heart to it so it looks like it's floating the whole thing is double sided i had to do like oh so many pieces it's so repetitive i even painted these designs on here in the hotel room. The pool noodle, I shaped it so it tapers down, covered it with foam, covered it with fabric twice, and I still hate the finish. It just looks lumpy and bumpy, and it was just hard to maneuver. I have another idea for this, how this is gonna work and be better using expanding foam. Another hula hoop. So that is what I have completed. It's basically a complete cosplay besides the bow, but you know, all the clothes are done and I wore it to Momocon, but I didn't enter the cosplay contest because the bow wasn't finished and I wanted to enter in the master's category and I know that I would have had to have that bow finished to really be able to like feel like I had a chance. Um, I probably could have entered in journeyman and maybe one but I don't know. I wasn't sure if I should enter Masters or Journeyman. I know I'm entering Masters for AWA, but I was like, maybe I'll enter in Journeyman one more time before I step up to Masters, because once you go, you just can't go back. So I was just like, maybe I should just do Journeyman one more time. But I didn't end up entering, but I did have fun wearing this. When I finish the bow, I'm gonna make a video probably take some more like some more pictures the pictures I show you are just from my phone so I want to do like an actual photo shoot of it I've been really trying to do photo shoots for my cosplays because I haven't been so after wearing this cosplay for hours and hours there are a couple adjustments that I do need to make for one like I said before this piece right here so when I sat down this bent that up so after I saw that I stopped sitting down <laughs> so I only sat down like once I might remake this or just try to heat it up to like kind of get this crease out. This bow on the back was another problem. I had like two safety pins and then a pin, pin, pin back thing that I put on here, a brooch back. That worked for a long time, but at one point it just was like, no. I'm going to put some hooks on here so I can hook it on. I might put some Velcro on there too. So my major, major problem was the leg pieces. I knew I had to use sock glue to glue that on. And I tried it and I put it on my skin and glued the foam piece and the legging and the foam piece. And I was cool. I was walking around. I had it on for a long time at home. But then when it came to the con and I had the tights on, it was not staying glued. And I put like three layers of sock glue. Sock glue is for like fabric to skin, not fabric to skin to fabric. All right, skin to fabric to fabric. <laughs> so it would stay stuck for maybe like 20 minutes so every 20 minutes I'd have to like put it back on so I don't know what I'm gonna do to fix that I might get thinner tights or I'll go bare legged I don't want to go bare legged because there's as much cellulite on my legs I don't mind so much like my legs are bare right now and like I have a short dress on and like bare legs I'm okay with this but I feel like, I don't know, in a cosplay and in pictures, it's going to be more noticeable or more highlighted. I don't know. I just, whenever I wear a cosplay, I always have things on my legs, especially if I have something short on. I don't know how I'm going to remedy the stuff falling down. <sighs> we'll see what happens. Okay, well, that's all I have for today. I know I haven't done a DIY in so long, but soon. Soon? Saturday maybe? Alright, till next time.